Music of My Soul dwelt slightly as they go. Coming out was Mike Mansgold with the lead and finally got a Bentley. Music of My Soul rushed forward for the lead in the center. And on the outside, Botch, and they're really running fast. Finally got a Bentley and Music of My Soul and Botch are lining up. And they're really hurting each other early on. Three lengths away, Mike Man's goal. The break to World Venture and Valiant Flame is on the inside last. And Music of My Soul really hustled today. And finally got a Bentley on the inside, pressed by Music of My Soul. A length and a half away is Botch on the outside of Mike Man's goal, who's traveling very well. A nine-length gap to World Venture as Julian Couton switches goggles. And last of all is Valiant Flame. Music of My Soul on the outside, an inch in front on the rails, finally got a Bentley. Botch is lobbing along a length away third, and Mike Man's Gold is fourth on the inside as the pace has been cruel. Four lengths away, World Venture is joining in easily, and last is Valiant Flame. As they go along towards the half mile, and now Botch is coming after the leader. Botch on the outside of Music of My Soul, finally got a Bentley. Mike Man's Gold has had a terrific run, and World Venture is gobbling them all up. A change of pace now, and Valiant Flame from last. The first beaten has finally got a Bentley. Going to the front, Botch, tackled by World Venture. On the inside, Music of My Soul is under hard pressure now, and Mike Man's Gold getting a split, and it's Botch in front going as well as anything. World Venture pushed along in second to challenge for the lead, and here comes Ronald Richard on Valiant Flame. World Venture is skipped on by Botch, and now as they corner has opened up and Julian Couton is careering away and World Venture says see you later is four in front Valiant Flame to second Botch can't go on and then Mike Mann's gold World Venture at the furlong pole is well ahead in the derby Valiant Flame in seconds run a big race and then Mike Mann's gold but World Venture will cap this off with a huge win World Venture goes on to win the Emerald Downs Derby by seven lengths Valiant Flame has run second eight lengths away Mike Mann's gold was third and then Music of My Soul Venturer and World Venturer is a three-year-old grey roan gelding by Wimbledon from Better Than Most, owned by Peter Redekop BC Limited, trained by Blaine Wright and bred by Clarence Scarbau Jr. in Texas, the winning rider, Julien Couton. Thanks, Robert. The Emerald Downs Derby goes to World Venturer up for his third Emerald Downs race, well stabled here this summer, and he got the big one. The Emerald Downs Derby goes to World Venturer, great ride by Julien Couton in for the ride. Blaine Wright, the trainer, uh, assisted by his father, Richard. Thanks to Brian Anderson and his wife, Carol, for being here. Barn foreman for Peter Redekop, an outstanding horseman based in Vancouver, B.C., and our honorary steward for the Derby, University of Washington basketball coach, Lorenzo Romar. Blaine, uh, world bench, yeah, give Lorenzo a hand. A great addition to the Derby. A great addition to the Northwest and uh, all the whole sports scene. He's done such a great job. And Blaine, you did a super job getting this horse ready. I, were you uh, liking the pace scenario going into the race? Well, certainly. But I, I, I want to say thank you to Mr. Redekop and Brian and Carol Anderson. They put some good horses into my hands. Uh, my barn crew between Northern Cal and Emerald Downs, superb job by them. All the credit goes to the barn crew here at Emerald Downs. They, they had this horse ready today. And... Uh, Certainly when you see a 44 and a half, you know, you got to like your chances when you're sitting about eight off the pace. Super job. I mean, he dominated the race. Uh, well, there was no contest in the stretch. Uh, Julian had him settled off that fast pace. And Julian, uh, what did Blaine tell you about this horse coming in? Well, not much. The only thing he told me before the race is he doesn't like to be on inside. Obviously, we went pretty fast in the front lead, so we have we been able to to get out swift out in the backside and and just let the horse pit get this uh, cruise speed and uh, and go from there. And uh, he obviously likes the distance. And uh, I want to say thank you to Blaine. He did a, a remarkable job on this horse and. Uh, Hopefully we're going to go uh, further. Yeah, your trip up to the Northwest was worth your time for sure. A very easy win. Great job. Thank you very much. Julian Couton, the rider. Lorenzo, uh, to win a horse race, it takes the jockey and the trainer and the horse, but you've got to coach five guys at once and then a whole team of 12 and, and recruits and red shirts, so you've got a tough task too, but I, I'm sure you appreciate the effort out here. Absolutely. I want to take them back with me. Let them drive our guys the way they just did that horse. That was, uh, that was very impressive to, to watch. And uh, uh, they won. I thought they did a really good job.
Super job and uh, great job so far with the Huskies. We're all rooting for you for an upcoming season. Thank you very much. Lorenzo Romar, head coach of the Huskies. We've got to get a word from Richard Wright as well. This is Blaine's father. And Richard, uh, is this horse coming into the race the way you'd like to see? Yeah, he was. You know, we had a nice, easy work last week. We've been having to work him in company. He's not a good workhorse. First time we worked him, we found that out. So we've been working with Frank's horse, both the two of them together. And, you know, and it worked out. It tightened him down good. You've got bragging rights over Frank and everybody else in the three-year-old division. Nice job. Well, we just beat him one time. We got our ass kicked twice. <laughs> I was waiting for Richard to uh, put a little different spin on the victory. Hey, Brian, uh, great job. Uh, Mr. Redekop has a nice horse here. A uh, couple of narrow losses, but this was a nice day for you. It was a great day for us, and uh, we always believed this horse could get it done, but he doesn't like to be on the inside of horses, so we changed our strategy this time and made sure we got to the outside, and, and it paid off. Paid off big time, and uh, what might be next for him? British Columbia Derby. The BC Derby. Mr. Radikoff, I'm sure, would like to win that one. World Venture, a dominant performance in today's Emerald Downs Derby.